What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut, and I'm here with an A-class airplane build just for you. My buddy Airplane was streaming with me the other night. We were playing and racing, and he was beating some of my other A-class cars with this. This has got some legs. It's pretty fast in the straights. And so I asked him for it. He was very gracious. He gave me the tune. I also asked if I could bring it to you guys and make a vid on it. He said he would be honored to be part of that. So here we are. This is the airplane build for the Porsche 911 Carrera GTS Cabriolet. You might be familiar with this car already because we've got it in B-Class as well. Turns out this thing's kind of a shining star. So let's just get in here, dig right into it, and give you the build details. And if you ever race with my buddy airplane, you let him know you're running this build and you're thankful for it. If in fact you are. So today we're running the 3.5 liter V6 basic motor. It's the second from all the way left. And that starts out with 224 brake horsepower or base horsepower for you. For the parts, you are running regular sport induction. So one click over on that. You are running basic ECU. You are running basic fuel system. You are running sport exhaust. You are running elite supercharger. In this case, it is the screw supercharger. If we do the roots, it actually hurt our zero to 60 time a little bit. Um, it did give us a point, but there was nowhere else to put the point. So uh, we tried, we played with it, we did a few things. So in this case, we're using the screw. For the nitrous, we're using sport nitrous. For the chassis, we are doing the elite road suspension. We are running just regular pro brakes. We are running elite grip tires. We are running just the sport clutch. We are running the five speed transmission. We are running the elite differential. Give yourself max slider so that way you can get it all the way out. Auxiliary, once again, up to you. I'm running grip, I'm running near miss. Do whatever you think is best. For the handling, we're all the way to the left. We're 100% grip on that thing. Steering sensitivity, I'm running three clicks high on this one. You do you, whatever you think is best. If you ever find you're driving a car and it, it gets really, really wobbly on you, you lose lots of speed, coming out of a corner, it just goes out of control. Chances are you're overdriving the car. So turning that back will slow that down a little bit, probably help you out a little bit. But if you find that you're not overdriving the car, maybe it's not turning in fast enough, bump that the other way. Give it a little more. You do you. Downforce all the way high on this build. We need to, otherwise it doesn't fit in the class. So all the way high on the downforce, 209. Traction control off. Drift entry, I'm running gas tap on this one. Uh, if you're coming into a corner, you just tap the gas and it'll slide in real nice. You accumulate that boost, rocket ship out of there. It's pretty cool. All of that being said, what that's going to do, it's going to give you a top speed of 159. The car will do about 161, 162 with the rev limit. It's pretty fast. It's good for A-Class. It, it, it's got some legs. It pulls ahead of some of the other cars, and that's why I really like it. Um, horsepower 460, max torque 384. Uh, quarter mile 12.3. If you're running a manual transmission, you'll have better stats than that for the 0 to 60 and the quarter mile anyway, so kind of ignore those. Uh, it's quite good. For the style portion of this, you'll notice I'm running very, very wide. I've made the stance as wide as possible. Gives more stability to the car. I've also put on the tires that we run to give it more grip. And I've got a diffuser on the back and I've got a splitter on the front. So this is like super, super stable. Uh, the Porsches, they have a tendency to slide out. This build and the way I've got it tuned will stop that to the best of our ability. And then for the stance, I'm running two clicks to the left on the uh, right height. And then for the camber, I'm running two clicks to the right on both. So a little more camber on both sides of things. I found that this made the car very, very good, very nimble. If you're looking for it to maybe, it feels like it turns wide. It just feels like it makes wider corners. It doesn't slide for that reason though, so it's very predictable, especially when you're doing those uh, boost turns. Like when you get the yellow boost and you do a turn and hit it at the same time, we call them grip boosts. Uh, this car grip boosts really well with this setup. If you find you don't like that, you might try taking off the wide body kit you might try removing the splitter. Um, you can do a few different things to change the handling on this once you've got it dialed in for the parts side. So just try that, do you, do what you think is best um, for yourself. At the end of the day, like how your car looks, so you're happy to look at it. And you gotta like how it drives. Even if you're not as fast as other guys, 
That shit doesn't matter. We're here to have fun. It's a video game. We're here to escape and delve into something completely outside of the normal world that we live in. And so if it makes you happier to do something different, do that. That's why we're here. If you like winning, you like running super optimal, push the optimum side. So at the end of the day, just enjoy yourself. That is paramount. We're here to have fun. We're here to be happy. Let's do that. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, follow, get the bell. Uh, I stream multiple days a week. I would say six out of seven, I'm usually streaming in the evenings. Uh, we have a lot of fun on stream. We go over a lot of stuff. It's a good time. Other than that, I'm your wheelman, Alex Cornut. You have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.